All right, good morning, guys. <coughs> I just woke up. It's officially Tuesday. I'm in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. This is what it looks like when I wake up and it's cold. Everything's kind of fogged in or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm about to get up, brush my teeth. Um, we'll go hit the post office. Hopefully, the battery charger's in. And if it is, as soon as we grab it, we're hitting that road, heading to Albuquerque. So, that's cool. I'm excited because... We're finally leaving Arizona. <laughs> you know, we've been here for a long time. So sometimes, uh, when I'm at a building or something, I like to go inside and brush my teeth too. Because it is nice to be able to like stand up and not just be like in my sink. I'm kind of squatted and like crouched in. And it's cool. Like, <coughs> it's not an uncomfortable setup for real. But it's also nice being able to brush your teeth standing up. Whew. I don't know if we'll see snow again this winter. So I guess. Dang. That's one big crow over there, dude. I guess I'll just soak it in while we can. Alright. Let's head over to that post office. All right, so it's like 8.20 right now, and the post office doesn't open till 9. I, I don't know, I guess I thought it'd be open already, but uh, I'm kind of craving some Walmart deli food, which I know is like horrible for you, but you know, I just gotta take care of this craving. You know what I'm saying? And I don't ever go too hard anyway. I just get a couple tendies, maybe some fries. But uh, this is also the post office. Obviously the same one I came to when I came in, I'm gonna show y'all. And then I'll cut the clip to where y'all can see how it looked when I came in because it looks like the city looks almost night and day. The package isn't here still, but uh, since it's a UPS delivery, I'm gonna see if there's a way I can find it or track it down at the UPS store. So it's not a lot of times things go pretty easy for me in life. I feel like, I guess it depends on perspective, but I will say this was pretty easy. I just went over here. We got the package at the UPS hub. So they open at 1030, which is an hour from now. And we just go pick it up. And that's cool. In the meantime, oh, the Walmart deli wasn't open. So I, I actually got like a, a Nathan hot dog. Shout out to my boy, Nathan. <laughs> so that's about it. We're going to go get some deli from Walmart. Go pick up the package from the UPS hub in Flagstaff and then roll up out of there. All right, just pull up to a Walmart, I mean a Walmart, McDonald's parking lot. Uh, it shouldn't take me longer than like 10 minutes to hook this thing up. So I guess I'll give you all a little shot of me installing it. Got everything wired up. We've got the little red wire, ignition wire. Uh, our cables that run to the battery are to the auxiliary battery and these cables that run to the main battery the only thing left is to go hook up the uh main battery under the hood which is just one little where's my pressure wrench here we go i'm literally just connecting like a hot wire up here and then should be good to go i'm gonna check it out if we turn on the truck and the green light comes on the charger and no red light, that means we're good. And we're golden. We're back charging, baby. Yeah. All right, let's get on that road, y'all. For everybody wondering, what is CSL? What is that? Uh, so it's the plasma center. You know, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so I just go in there. I don't know, just sign in, kind of do my little questionnaire and to check my pulse, my uh, I like proteins in your blood. They just do a little wellness check, low key. And then you just go back there. I mean, it's like donating blood, except it spins the plasma out and then it puts the blood back in. Just came over here to the post office because I'm supposed to have a package coming 
tomorrow. Can't tell y'all what it is yet, but y'all gonna see coming up. So I have something in the back I don't want y'all to see. So that's why I'm turning over here. But I just been hanging out with these uh these people from Venezuela. They was I was getting some gas and they was looking for like <coughs> like some food or something. Anyway, so long story short, been hanging out with them, and I speak like a like the most minimum amount of Spanish you can. But they got another dude over there that I was talking to. He speaks a little amount of English you can. So like when you put us together. We it was like we was able to semi communicate for the most part. I know I hit we hit the translator a couple times, but uh, it's been cool chilling with them. I'm about to go over there. Everybody can sign the truck. <laughs> it's a big family. I think they like I said they're all from Venezuela. Car problems. Everybody's kind of living in their car. So we're gonna let all the uh, all the like the adults and the niños sign the truck and just kind of hang out. Oh, you on the be on? Oh look, y'all say hey. Say what's up. <laughs> Look, you can hold it. We bought all be famous, baby. <laughs> this my this my novio. <laughs> all right, we sign in the truck. <laughs> Poquito pito. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all saw that John Hancock? Oh, even in Venezuela, they got the signature down. <laughs> my song. Uh huh. My song. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. I know. Mi esposa. My bad. I thought you said you love me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sign it? We just found this dude's truck on the side of the road, so we were all signing it real quick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you want to? Sure. I'll sign it too. Oh yeah, I don't know who truck it is, but we just started signing it. We found it. So the family just grew today by about 10 people, roughly. Oh uh, man, it was nice meeting them. I hung out with them for about two hours over there. We just kind of chilling. You know what I mean? They got their own struggle going on. We all got our own struggle going on. But you know, I was like, man, you know, you got all, everybody, your whole family's here. You know what I mean? In its own way, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, it was just really nice hanging out with him because I woke up today and I wasn't really feeling at 100, you know, with this DPDR. Some days are better than others, and today just wasn't one of my peak days. I just felt like I couldn't get a good grab of myself, <clears throat> which is no big deal. I mean, it ha that happens. So I uh, went to the gas station after I left Walmart. I ended up getting, uh, there was like a little grill. Like I got a little mini grill now. It was like eight bucks. So picked that up. And when I was leaving, went to put some gas, and I met all these people at the gas station. I just went to go hang out with them and really had a great time a lot of people ask me if i feel alone or like how do i am i right doing this by myself and you know really the truth is uh i mean i might be more geared like i might feel more comfortable being alone by myself than other people but at the end of the day there's people all around me you know like there's the whole america because you know i'm in the country there's a whole america worth of people whole america worth of family like I see, I see brothers and sisters every day. I see relatives and family every day. I'm around, everybody I'm around, you know, like one big family. So, you know, I mean, just talk to your neighbor, talk to your, uh, your brothers and sisters. You never be alone, really. I'm in here working on the uh, Grand Canyon video right now. And this has got to be like the coziest Starbucks I've ever been in. I got like a fire behind me and I mean, this kind of cushion seat. Dude, I can sit in here all day. I'm actually, it's so comfortable. I'm, t I'm about to fall asleep. But yeah, now I was working on a Grand Canyon video. And it should be out probably maybe a couple of hours. Yeah, I think brother. Uh, no pasa nada. Nada, nada. Quieres comer? Si, sí, it's fine. Uh, okay. Hamburguesa? Si, sí, it's fine. Today, I wanted to throw it out on the grill. So, just got to Walmart. I'm gonna link back up with my uh, Venezuelan family today. So, I don't know, we're gonna do something kind of simple because I only got like a 10 inch grill. But I kind of want to do some chicken. Might do some burgers, but we're gonna go in here now, kind of pick some stuff out and go throw it down. For the sake of convenience, we're gonna grab Instant Light. Get us one of them, just because, I mean, why not? And definitely gonna get some patties. $10, 20 burgers. All right, we got a good little collection of stuff. Got some Humex, got some some rolls for the smoked sausage. Uh, 
paper towels, cups, plates, Sprite, patties, buns. There's cheese somewhere in there. But I think we're good to go. Y'all see we got the barbecue about to go down in the park a lot. They ain't ready for that. I'm going to cook up with my Bella Swilling people. Are we rolling out? No, I think they got a room. I'm not really 100% sure. But either way, they was like, man, just follow me, bro. And then, so anyway, now we behind them. I don't want to show you license plate. And, but, <clears throat> so we want to move, man. I got these uh, groceries ready to throw down. We in here. Look, my boy. Say what's up. What's up, bro? Hola. <laughs> que pasa? We about to head to, uh, to I think, their, their house or apartment they just got. You know, we met them, or I met them yesterday at Walmart. And they were trying to uh, figure out the housing situation so today i think they got the house or within the last 24 hours and now we're just heading over there about to do some cooking De que? You look Asian, brother. oh you <laughs> like that <Te> gusta? <laughs> you ready Talito? what's up que andan que andan haciendo aquí voy en un día como youtuber con el compa clay <laughs> hola yo no entiendo mucho <laughs> My boy knows this song, he listens to rock. <laughs> we jamming out in here, man. All right, we've been running around all day. <laughs> we done changed tail lights. We done broke down. <laughs> we done got a free couch on the side of the road. <laughs> and I got a bed cover on, but we just throwing it on top of Lenny Rod. <laughs> Wish me luck. We rolling now, baby. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Whew. Uh, just made it. That was sketch. I lost three uh, pillows on the way here, but time to get these things in and finally get to cooking because everybody been waiting all day to eat. It's kind of dark out here, so I don't know how well y'all can see, but. Sleep ayer in the car. Sí. Y today barbe barbecue y yeah. sleep in house. Yes. God is uh, good. Amen. God is good. Hi, hi, you ready? Talito? Sí, ready, bro. And the hot sauce too. Yes. Look. Hold on. Put it there. Look, 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 look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, he don't want me to pour it out. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! You ready? Ready, bro. I say salute. Salute, bro. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. All right, y'all. We're finally down to the last piece of meat, which is just this little this piece of uh, smoked sausage. <clears throat> But I don't even know what time it is. I've been out here forever. Well, we all have. And this little miniature grill has been putting in overtime. I ain't lying. But, uh, last piece coming off. Hey, papi, que? You smoking? We're finally done, dude. Yeah, bro. Finally done. 20 burgers, a pack of, a big pack of smoked sausage, like a family size pack, like 10. Jalapenos, maybe, which don't really sound like a lot on a regular grill, but this is a 10 inch grill. So, <clears throat> we, me and my boy, have been out here putting in OT. <laughs> now we finally done. So, I think we're about to clock out for the night. All right, good morning, guys. Just woke up. Got my shower bag. About to go hit the wall. Hit some aqua. <laughs> All right, look, so I got some, uh, you know, before I started van life. I had uh, some designer stuff, and I was looking for some people to give my some shoes away to. So I'm about to hook him up. He got a, he wears a nine. I got like some nine, nine and a half size feet. So 
I'm about to hook him up with some nice gear. Hey, look, record. Hello, my bros. <laughs> Aquí, con mi bro, Clay. <laughs> the shoes, bro. Mira, eh. The shoes. Hey, look, I also got these uh, these old Air Maxes. Shout out to Indicia because today they're getting sponsored in a giveaway. We got the Air Max, we got the Balenci. He ran off with the Montclairs already, but yeah, so I'm just, I don't need them because I don't even, I don't even wear them anyway. I got one, I got these Gucci slides that I'll end up swapping into just because I've been wearing, the, I've been like wearing the life out of these MCMs. <clears throat> so at some point I'll get down with them. Yeah, I need the downsize. So yeah, so we're getting rid of a lot of the stuff today. I mean, bro, bro, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I Ah, right, y'all. We just did a wardrobe clean out. God bless, Clay. Dios te va a bendecir, hermano. Muchas gracias por ayudarnos. Te me cuidas. No entiendo. <laughs> hey, look. I was gonna say these McQueens, but I feel bad because everybody else got some shoes and he didn't. I was gonna save it because I was gonna put a homeless dude. I got the McQueens, which is some eight hundred dollar shoes that I no longer need or wear. And I don't, my lifestyle is completely different. I got that in an off white shirt. The off white shirt's like 600 bucks. So I was gonna put a homeless person in that. But he don't even know, he, obviously, he don't speak English. So he don't even know. I'm about to give him the McQueens. And I don't think they know. <laughs> and like, what it's worth in American dollars. But look, look the white box. Blanco? Blanco? See? Si. See? Si. Uh huh. Do? <laughs> <laughs> Hook him up! He didn't know it! I'm just going through all this, getting rid of everything, uh, all the extra stuff, and I'm kind of like reorganizing it just so I can have more room in the back because it is a little crowded right now. And, you know, I mean, why wouldn't you? So I'm about to get all this organized, put back in here, and then when we're done, probably go peace out. But I guess I'll show you how it looks when it's done, or I'll just check back in later. Finally got everything reorganized. So, this is how we look now. Improved. Uh, the clothes I'm gonna deal with on laundry day, just because, uh, just because, really, no good reason. But, yeah, everything's pretty accessible. And I'm gonna need to get access to my uh, bathroom and the toilet. Got my clean clothes, my dirty clothes. Uh, got a camel back. I need to get a new bladder for it. <clears throat> but tools up front gas can up front everything that i'm probably not going to touch for like ever or for a while is all the way in the back got the i put my grill in here i mean my eye my propane burner uh seasonings forgot to take that out uh my noodles so my dry storage seasonings tupperware and that kind of goes all in here this works as like a little like a drawer so and then the kitchen set up. So we kind of got it done now. We just moved in yesterday. So, I mean, then, oh, we got the couch yesterday. So, and then one of the brothers went to go pick up a mattress. And I actually still had some stuff from the apartment, like some bathrooms, like this random miscellaneous stuff. Some good, like, housewarming gifts. So they're getting set up. And yeah, now we got more space and more room. It's less clutter, even though. It can still be improved a little bit. I do want to kind of do it a little better than this. This is way better than it was. And it gives me a lot more room and I feel a lot less clutter back here. So right now, I'm about to head over there. Look, right over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if it's cool if I do like a little tour just because yesterday there was nothing in here. Now, like, you gotta understand, they're just moving in, so. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, they made a lot of progress really is an impressive amount of progress all in the same day you know what i'm saying like i get excited for that kind of stuff because i remember you know if you ever moved into your own apartment you know like everybody gets in there you ain't got nothing and then you know you're you gradually building up so i remember when i moved to my first apartment i didn't have a couch for a long time so i ended up getting a, a futon it took me 13 different walmarts to find the futon and then it took time and then so i had the futon in the living room and I used a clothes basket upside down. I had a mini TV, like a maybe a 32 inch TV, put it on top of the clothes basket. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, and then over time, you know, you acquire everything you need, build up the apartment, and it's just really cool. So, 
I just get excited to see how much they got done yesterday. Like from having nothing. So it's impressive. All right, we're live on MTV Cribs, baby. All right, so is this the couch? This is the couch that we had on the uh, back of the truck yesterday. I lost the cushion. <laughs> That's the cushion right here. But it's... Pero está bien. In English, but it's okay. Uh, this is the other one. So we had two of these on the back of the couch, just in case you didn't know. Uh, got my little shower bag and stuff because I'm about to hop in the shower. Honestly, I don't remember what he said this was. The other brother went go get this. I think... I thought he said it was a drawer. It looks like a drawer. Yeah, like a dresser maybe. And then... The kitchen this is my little table we grilled on yesterday. My uh, instant light charcoal. I'm gonna have to steal that back from them. I'm gonna leave them the plates and stuff. And then uh, the rooms. I'm not gonna go in the rooms just because. But uh, bathroom. This was one of the little items. It's like a little soap dispenser. And you got the little sliding action in the bathroom, which personally I'm a big fan of. I was like, dang, because I ain't never had that. But well, that's it right there, really. Moved in yesterday. Already got a living room set up, you know? That's cool. Like I said, I'm just maybe I'm just too excited, but oh yeah, old cooler if I didn't mention that. Come on, that way. That's my dog. Look, we got a handshake. Watch. Ready? Yeah, see he knows, he already knows. But nah, it's been cool over here. Awesome people. Awesome people. Oh, I forgot to, uh, we got the back porch. Cool, let's see. Like a little back patio. It's kind of like some TV kind of style of living. Like I, <clears throat> I feel like this is uh, what California looks like if I had to imagine. And then you know, it kind of comes around and go for a little walk. And then right over here, loops right back to the front door. Personally, I'm a big fan of the setup. I don't know if you can tell. Wait, what up? <laughs> no English, but that's my boy. He was helping me barbecue too last night. We was out here for four hours on that pit. Whew, that 10 inch grill, 20 burgers, a family size pack of sausage, 10 jalapenos, four hours. <laughs> we got to upgrade, but for when it's just me, it'll be all right. And then here's Everybody's kind of been out mingling in a little, like, I guess we'll just call this neighborhood. Everybody's cool over here. And then, you know, loop back to the front. Yeah, oh my God, What's oh up, my brother? God. My Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, I don't mean to do the hard part. Oh, this is the box spring. Y'all got that. <laughs> Very strong. Very strong, my friend. <laughs> That's how I've been trolling Reynaldo. Check me out. I get on here. Huh? Uno más? No entiendo, güey. ¿Es tu hombre? Reinaldo. Oh, Reinaldo. Oh, my bad. He had to correct me in Spanish. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> hey, look, this is how I troll him, though. I get on here. I'll be like, huh, what we want to say? When you finish, I need you to paint my truck, too. With the same paint. Here we go. Cuando termines, necesito que pintes mi camioneta también con la misma pintura. <laughs> He's a hard worker, y'all. Hey, this is his resume right here. If y'all see my boy Reynaldo, make sure y'all pick him up. So, a lot's been going on. We done been to Walmart. Uh, Angel y Angel and his brother and his hermano. Uh, they was out there hustling, trying to get some bread, trying to get some money. Now I put my paintball guns out, and we're in here trying to clean them up because tomorrow we might go play with them. Uh, other than that, uh, they got one of the girls here. She's cooking some roast and chicken tonight, so that's kind of how it's going. And it's been like two days now, and this house has came a very long way. <laughs> All right, I got them hooked up. We're on the Wi-Fi, hotspot plugged in, VR. We got the cartoons in Spanish. We got it going on. Alright, this is what we got. Let me see. What up? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, that looks good, huh? 
That's that Venezuelan smothered chicken with some plantains and rice. What you wanna say? In Espanol? ¿Qué? Ah? ¿Qué es la comida? Arroz con tajada y pollo guisado. Mm, you heard him. I didn't get it, but you got it. Got a little piece of avocado mm. también. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yo eat mucho. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mira, mm -hmm. mm. mm. That's so good. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. I like plantains though. That's the cook. I want to say, muchas gracias. Es muy bueno. <laughs> this rice pot was overflowing. I've never seen somebody cook so much rice in my life. But anyway, y'all. Man, that tastes good. I'm not lying. I love Venezuelans. <laughs> All right, so I've been hanging out with these people for a while. And <clears throat> it's actually been a few days. So we've been kind of going back and forth cooking. The first day I cooked the uh, barbecue, like the hamburgers and stuff. And the next day, um, they did like a some kind of Venezuelan style, some other chicken. And then today, I did like a little that little homemade hamburger helper macaroni I do, but a big one because it was uh, cost effective. But now at night, I'm gonna get the stuff to make. I'm doing some smothered chicken, like some Cajun smothered chicken, and I'm gonna do a Jello cake. So. Let's go ahead and get to it. And uh, like I said, this is probably the last night, so might be heading out tomorrow, but it's kind of sad because i really been having an amazing time with all these people over here. Like, it really feels like family. So, but either way, let's get to cooking this, uh, this chicken and this cake. All right, so I completely messed the chicken up, but it was all right because, uh, well, I'm not used to the pot. So they end up washing the chicken off, like pan frying the chicken, save the chicken, everybody ate the chicken, and then, <laughs> It's low key like they were excited because they found the Venezuelan store that sold like actual Venezuelan food. So they got this pan. It's like cornmeal or like a corn flour. I'm not 100% sure what it is. But anyway, they got that. And now they made these. Arepa. Arepa? Arepa. <laughs> so now, oh, and the cake's done. As soon as I took it out of the fridge, I mean, I'm not, I don't even show you the fridge because it's gone. So it's no point. But, you yeah, know, they, they killed the cake. So I'm like, bro, look, I'm gonna just give y'all the recipe, even though I got it off the internet. <laughs> but uh, let's try this because I never had this before, and it uh, it was really hyped up. It's like a Mexican, I mean not a Mexican, I'm sorry. It's like a Venezuelan sandwich. I ain't gonna lie. Si me gusta, yeah. Si es fine. Bueno. Me alegro, hermano. Oh, yeah. Se come like mucho that. en Venezuela. En Venezuela, mm -hmm. more like arepa. I know I didn't record much. It's kind of because it got chaotic in here. <laughs> I messed up the chicken. But tomorrow, I'm actually heading out of here. So, I'm going to stay here tonight. In the morning, we'll probably close out. And it's kind of sad, like a bittersweet moment. Part of band life because... Uh, I feel really close to these people. Like even though we just met each other, we all just met each other like a few days ago. I feel like I've known them forever. It's the morning of, the morning of my departure. So I'm just getting everything together. I got my, uh, got the grill, got uh, the table, <clears throat> got my paintball guns in here, VR, TV, all kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of getting everything together. I help clean up before I leave. And I guess uh, either head to Amarillo today, which I might do. Let me get packed up, and then we'll say goodbye to our new familia. Dale. All right, so we're gonna cut it right here. 
But on three, we're gonna say Venezuela. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Venezuela! Thank you, brother. Gracias. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rapper back Mr. Magic Molly Mall.